welcome back to Shay's Way. Okay, in a second, I'm not gonna be able to look at the camera because we are driving. We haven't done this in a while. So let's just, let's get going. Anyway, um, welcome to my barn vlog. And we have not talked in the car for a little while, so I'm excited about that. Um, today, okay, so let me give you guys some context. This is like my after the storm barn vlog, like what we do when it's like, rained at the barn because I mean where I live we don't really have storms but rain kind of counts as a storm because rain is so rare that it's just like what it rained surprise so this is basically what I'm going to do at the barn when we have like a rainy day because basically the barn does not fare well after rain it just it does not it really it tries but it just does not do well all the arenas get soaked the whole barn gets soaked um and usually the barn is like i don't know all the arenas are usually closed for like at least less than a week or so like maybe like i feel like this week it's gonna be like a week because it's gonna rain again <laughs> so basically we what we do is we tap walk or i don't tap walk i just bareback walk because why ride and tack when you can bear back oh my god that rhymed so today we are going to be we have some drama to talk about and it is with the horses it is rocket drama so rocket and i are going to be walking with my bff amber and her horse bean who is rocket's current ex boyfriend so let me tell you let me just tell you a little bit about this so we have to get to really understand how this relationship came to be and rocket is just his whole romance drama we just have to go through it all on this car ride so that is what we are going to do oh there's cones okay let's start at the very beginning this is a very interesting story so don't worry you guys you won't be bored so rocket's romantic life is very tumultuous is that a word that's the right way to say that word right tumultuous i think anyway um it started off with his first ever girlfriend her name is glenn and glendora actually glendora is like the full name and she was this beautiful dark bay so pretty and he was just obsessed with her she was his neighbor so kind of went from neighbors to lovers and he would just cry for her when she left and everything and they were just they were living it up he really he found his love he was so happy but then then Glenn had to move. She had to leave and she left the barn and they just couldn't make the long distance work. They tried. I'm sure they tried. I'm sure he tried to call to her over the Nay network, but she couldn't answer. So sadly that relationship ended and Rocket was pretty heartbroken for a while. He was pretty devastated, but he eventually found another woman to love and he met Cookie Dough, who was like my sibling's horse at the time and he loved cookie dough obsessed with cookie dough he just he worshipped cookie dough he loved her so much he was like wow i finally found an equal to my glen and he was oh my god he's crazy about cookie dough but unfortunately cookie dough leans more to being a lesbian than she would be too like she kind of like she'll play around with the geldings but she likes mares better she had a very serious relationship with my first horse toasty who was kind of into both mares and gelding she just played around very explorative like she just loved everybody basically she was kind of like rocking a bit but cookie dough she didn't really like geldings all that much actually she kind of like flat eared at them she was like not into men she was like men are trash and i'm like Period, cookie dough, period. No, I'm kidding. We love men too. So Rocket was really trying with her and she was just pushing back a little bit because she was like, I don't know, I'm not really into that. And she's more, she was like looking towards the mares a little bit more. But after Toast, Toasty left, Cookie Dough was kind of mellow. She didn't really care. She just vibed with anybody, but she didn't have one soul like lover kind of thing. And Rocket really, he really tried with her. And I think she very much liked him a lot but I feel like she felt more like a mother to him in a way, whereas he, he really thought they were just together. Like he just, he really thought they were something. And maybe they weren't, maybe they weren't. We never know, but they definitely had a connection that you cannot deny. Sadly, Cookie Dough moved away. She had to move to another barn, so that relationship ended. And boy, was Rocket just hit hard with that. He did not date for a while. He was so sad. He couldn't have another relationship. He wasn't ready for it. A little bit later, his like heart started blossoming again. The sick camera keeps falling down, I'm sorry. Okay, his heart started blossoming again for another mare. And she was exactly his type. He loved short, 
horses like he loved short horses and at the time he didn't know that he was really like into geldings as well he kind of flung around like he tried a little bit with one of our horses maestro but maestro was more definitely into mares he used to be a stallion and he was really into mares i mean they tried one time um maestro thought about getting on rockets back for a little hee-haw moment but we kind of stopped that for the safety of the riders and the horses involved um and rocket was just not really into the whole toxic masculinity thing that maestro gave off you know he likes a little bit more of a mellow horse and maestro just wasn't it for him so he fell in love with a short little chestnut mare named cheerio and if you guys go back to my old talk with rockets you'll see cheerio and his relationship really it was so stellar and he really loved cheerio but then then oh guys this is when the drama starts this is crazy cookie dough came back i'm at a stoplight don't worry cookie dough came back and he was like, oh my gosh, my first love and my current love. And he was so confused. It was a whole love triangle. It was freaking Twilight. It was the Hunger Games, period. So he was really torn between the two, but he really loved Cheerio, but he also really loved Cookie Dough. And Cookie Dough was getting a little jealous. She was like, excuse me, you move on so fast from me, the Cookie Dough paint queen? And so he was like, oh my gosh, Bean left. And we're gonna get to Bean in a second, Rocket, one of Rocket's boyfriends. So Bean left because he was just like, I can't handle the toxicity of this barn. This love triangle is getting too crazy we got way too much going on here rocket soon after followed suit because he couldn't even handle the toxicity of it he just couldn't choose between the two he was like wow and the mares were not happy with him they were like how dare you and it was just really sad so we had to move on from the toxicity he actually ended up following bean out of the barn and he went to the same barn as bean Bean and him have been at three barns together he's followed bean and so along the way you know along the way of the trailer you know how things go you know spending some time together like that um they both kind of bonded and rocket started developing feelings for a gelding sorry my car is kind of loud right now rocket was like holy crap this is a whole new moment and he's just had so many struggles with mares that he decided to dip into the pool of geldings and decided that he kind of liked the geldings a lot more and he was like whoa i can have a bromance but like a really like good one you know like sometimes the mares are a little sassy they really give it to him and he gets like a hurt by that and he has a very fragile heart and bean is a very caring soul so he was like wow i love bean they really just bonded they went on little dates you know amber and i rode together because we're bffs and our horses just bonded from that and rocket he just he became obsessed with bean and so then Bean actually went to another barn, which is the current barn we're at, and Rocket ended up following him there. And from that point, they were just inseparable. Rocket just like called to him. He would um, take off on me sometimes to go to him. It was really cute like that. But then Bean currently was in the inside stalls with Rocket. And then recently Bean actually had moved to the pipe stalls, back to the pipe stalls again. And they're a bit of a distance away at the barn. And then Amber and I have very different like riding schedules. So Bean and Rocket have very different schedules and they just couldn't like get together again. So like in their relationship, the long distance, again, it was starting to fail. And long distance is such a relationship killer, like poor horses, man. Rocket just kind of started talking to Buzz a bit. You, as we all know, Buzz is his current boyfriend. So we're gonna get to that in a sec. But you know, we still had love for Bean. Recently though, or not recently, like in the past, like it was like last year, um, they reunited again. They went on a little barn walk together and I felt like there was just not the same love as there was before, you know? They were kind of nipping at each other and flat earring and I was like, oh my God, the boys are fighting. So I think that's when they broke up and I had to confirm it because Rocket has really, he's just been getting into with Buzz. Like they have been full on relations, relationshiping you know, they're definitely boyfriend and boyfriend and Rocket is officially like, he's come out of the horse tax shed. He is out of the tax shed. He is full on. He's like, I am into geldings. I'm into mares. Um, he loves them both. But right now he's going the gelding route and he really loves Buzz. He had a minor flirtation with another mare named Aspen, but he was like, nah, Buzz is my man. And so Aspen and him are like just really good best friends, but he, 
he really loves Buzz. And Buzz loves him back. Buzz just is like, wow, this guy, what a great king. They scratch each other. Like they legit give each other the best scratches and they do it for like a full like while. Now guys, they switch sides. Had to make sure they get both sides intact here. Oh, oh, is he done? Is he completed? Oh no, Buzz going in for more. Bays. <laughs> Like they don't just like scratch each other like once. They just go for it. Like they're like on each other. We'll be riding them and they'll just do it. They go right up to each other and they assume the scratching position. It's like they know it, they click. Yesterday, I brought him to go visit Bean. I was like, do you wanna go visit your ex? Cause I'm pretty sure at that point they were exes because I actually heard from Amber that Bean has been flirting around with a little chestnut mare. I think her name is Ginger. And so I was like, let's see, let's see. Are you guys still friends? And so Rocket actually, they had a minor moment of romanticism a little bit of seduction you know they got back into their old ways but then they once they realized what was going on they drew back so quick like they went to go scratch each other and then suddenly rocket was like oh my god this is not buzz bean was like um what the heck bruh why you not into this man and they drew back and then they kind of like nipped at each other and then rocket flat his ears and he left dragged me away from bean and i was like oh my gosh wow so i really think that they have parted ways in the relationship they are still friends as we'll probably see today because rocket always likes to walk with other horses so i think they'll still be friends but i don't think they're lovers anymore rocket's just i think he's really discovered something within himself that he he's very proud of i'm really excited to see how that relationship blossoms because that's just <laughs> so cute i love it we love buzz and rocket and i came up with a ship name for it hashtag team bucket they're bucket because it's buzz and rocket bucket please you know what he kind of has like a a trend here like his first one was a g name so then then he went to che cookie dough and then he went to cheerio so that's like a c and a c and then now he went to b and a b he's going through the whole alphabet here i think there's gonna be some t when we're walking i think we're gonna see something between the beans and the rockets i think we're gonna see some um x fighting you know you know how it is with your exes it's hard to be friends with them so we're gonna go tap walk rocket together yeah okay let's go to the barn okay guys i'm here at the barn with rocket and he's so excited we're gonna do more grooming after our ride because the ground is muddy so i want to do a better groom after i ride so i'm gonna not show the grooming stuff on camera until after the riding so stay tuned for the full grooming thing. I'm wearing my merch right now though and this one's my favorite merch because I didn't know I could draw something like this on the iPad so and I drew it and it's Harry Potter and it's a horse. Check it out. See it's like magic. Yeah so it's really cute. Without further ado let's go get him tacked up. All we're doing is putting a bridle on and since we're just putting a bridle on I'll be right back because I'm gonna go put my helmet on. Okay my helmet's on. And I got the GoPro going too. So we're gonna put the bite on Rocky. Rocky, come here. Rocky. <laughs> he's like, oh, the right on. Oh, he's such a cutie. Okay. What do you need to do? Thank you, Rocket. So all I do for a tack walk, which is not a tack walk, is I just put a bridle on because especially when he's walking with other horses he does not have brakes with other horses so I need a bit in his mouth because he doesn't listen to me he's mean like that I tried to walk him bitless one time it was just a disaster man's would not stop and listen to me he was just rude so we're gonna go oh he's so excited are you excited to see Bean? I only saw him yesterday and it was a little bit rough are you, what are you, how are you feeling to see him today? Anything, anything to tell us? Anything at all? Rocket, are you sure you have no words? Like, do you have anything to say about seeing Bean right now? No. Well, we're just gonna have to see it then. He has no words for that. Mr. Bean and Amber in all their glory. Yeah, hi. Oh, the reunition. Okay, let's see. Will they fight? Will they be together? Dun, 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 dun. What do you think? Oh, 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 the exes are not happy. 
Oh no! I was they cheated on each other. They did! This is such a messy relationship. Oh, oh, he's mad. Wow. Oh, oh, he's not happy. Oh my. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry, you guys. Wow. Okay. Oh, look at the eyes of betrayal. He's so upset. It's a grr. Not working out here. Don't kill. Oh, oh. Okay. Wow. So, you guys, as we can see, um, exes can't be friends. T. <laughs> The boys are fighting! <laughs> Wait guys, it's the bird. I don't know if the GoPro's catching it though. Hello! Look at see how he's Hello! Oh god, there's a lot going on. Oh, okay. Hello! Hey! 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 Okay, bye. Rocket said bye. <gasps> Let's get her! Wait guys, okay, so they're looking at this sign and it really is upsetting me because it says WOA and it's just not spelled right. That's not how you spell WOA. That's why Rocket spooked at it. He's like the spelling. Right, Bo? Bo's like, I can't believe it. This is your favorite thing to eat. Oh, delicious. Can you hold it? Thank you. Oh my god. He's like, um, I am a dog. Now give it back. Oh, he doesn't want to. Now it's up here. You gotta reach for it. it. You gotta reach for it. He looks like an alien. He's so cute. Oh, Rocket says, excuse me, I'm goodbye. He's like, um, also later. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Rocket, you're such a camera hog. Rocket, a whole camera hog. He's like, excuse me. I am the star. Oh, so the drama. Cool. What did you guys think? How was the walk? Was it cool? Right. Oh, scratches! Oh, oh. oh. Well, do not eat him, please. Love. No. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Love. 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 Question mark. Buddies. No bite. No bite. No. Oh, oh, no. Why? Okay, they're still fighting. Why are they like <laughs> they're beefing. <laughs> Rocket's giving me a look. He's like, you I don't like you right Rocket. now. Oh, Rocket loves scratches. Oh, Rocket's gonna try to. Oh! Rocket's like, I'll give you scratches, brother. Please let go of your reins. Yeah, that's money, though. Amber's giving Rocket scratches and he thinks it's Bean. He's like, this is kind of. Oh! He's trying to fix your friendship. Yeah, literally. Look at Rocket. Oh my god. He's going for it. Oh, yes. Oh, 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 Bean's going for it. Oh! let's get to grooming rocket we just have to do a little bit of grooming like brushing him up and then picking his feet he's licking me and I'm gonna give him some cookies so let me say okay oh my god he eats two in one Good boy, he loves it so much. He's actually not that dirty at all. Just little big stains here and there. Not too bad. So Rocket's feet have a little bit of thrush, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some Brush Buster on them because, oh my gosh, the sun. Because, because we need to get the thrush out, and I'm so sorry about this lighting. It is horrendous. There you go. I have to pee really badly. 
really, really, really bad when you have to pee. So I'm going to the restroom. <laughs> There's a whole chorus going on. Um, that is it for the video. I basically, I just like, what I do on a rainy day to sum it all up um, is just, I walk him, usually bareback, and then I groom him because it's dirty a little bit, and that's pretty much it. And then I do like my other necessities of barn chores. So yeah, I didn't do water buckets because they were like full. So it's pretty lit. I think that my trainer might have done that today, so thank you. Oh my gosh. Um. You guys, my camera literally just fell backwards and landed on Rocket's blanket. You don't know how lucky I got there that it didn't fall. Oh my gosh. We've reached the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for coming to my very chaotic and drama-filled, apparently king, um, YouTube video. As always, guys, don't if you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Don't knock my camera over. Rocket wants you to subscribe really badly. Also, don't forget to ring the bell because then you get notified when Rocket. Oh, <laughs> it's just his butt. I have merch which I'm wearing right now, so go check it out. This is what it looks. <gasps> Yeah, that's what you think. That's what you think. I don't have food for you. So go check out my merch. Um, this is the Harry Potter one, and there's many other very cute merch items. I'm a flat ear you. I'm a flat ear you. Kiss you. Just recently, Amaya Lucas and Abby and the Horses both got my merch. So follow in their footsteps and get the merch. Yeah. Okay, let's do some video shout outs. First shout out goes to Sasha Avila. Next shout out goes to Sarah. Shout out to Coco La Tulip. Shout out to The Mare Plays. Shout out to Livy's Fun Stuff. Shout out to Equine Divine. Shout out to Carolyn Woodring. Shout out to One, Two, Three Horses. Shout out to Leone Babaconian. Shout out to Gravity Cat Art and Animations. Shout out to Equine Camille. Shout out to Kayla Equestrian. Shout out to Equestrian Vlog. Shout out to Olivia Crothers. Shout out to Cassie Plays. Shout out to Steven Notman. Shout out to Karsten Filzek. And last shout out goes to Kurt Fruity. If you guys want to be the next video's video shout out, then don't forget to comment on this video or any of my other videos, or you can comment on my Instagram, Shay's Way Official, TikTok, Shane Rocket, Twitter, Shay's in Place, and Facebook, Shay's Way. Rocket's excited because the food truck is here, even though he already has food. Weird horse. Um, he thinks he's gonna get a different kind of food. He's got his orchard right now because he gets special orchard because he doesn't get um, Timothy hay because it makes him rocket launch his poo poo out of his butt. It's an explosion. An whole explosion. Anyway, thank you guys again so much for watching. Have a great day. Okay. Bye.